How you doing? I'm Darren with Ash Kickin' Barbecue. If this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. Today we're talking stuffed flank steak. Now, if you've never done a stuffed flank steak before, it's absolutely delicious. You can kind of make it your own, stuff it with whatever you like. I'm gonna be showing you my favorite recipe today. So let's bring you in and show you how we're gonna prep this stuffed flank steak. All right, guys, so you can see we have our flank steak here. I just went ahead and trimmed it up a little bit just so it wraps evenly and whatnot, trimmed off some silver skin. So to butterfly this, we're basically gonna start on the thicker side here, and we're just gonna kinda fillet it open. So I just like to get in there, and it's really important that you just make small cuts. You don't wanna start digging in too deep. You just wanna slowly take your time and unroll it. Just make nice light cuts. As it starts opening up, you can start peeling it back. If you start getting a little too close to one side or the other and you think you're gonna puncture through, just go ahead and pull back and redirect your knife. So I'm just gonna go ahead and slowly open this up here. All right, so once you have a butterfly, you wanna go ahead and get some seasoning on the inside. For this, I'm gonna be using Tailgater's Barbecue Party Rub. Goes great with beef, it's a great all-purpose rub. We're just gonna get a little bit of flavor on the inside here. That is looking perfect. Now, at this point, we're gonna come in with our feta cheese, and we just want enough to kinda of cover the whole entire flank here. You know, crumble it up a little bit, get some nice coverage on here. You can use cream cheese if you want to as well. Uh, I've done that, it's delicious. I just really like this feta cheese in there. Gives it a really nice flavor. All right, and now once you have your feta cheese, you know, kind of spread out, keep in mind you want to leave a little bit of a border on the end so it's not falling out when you roll it. It's obviously going to be inevitable when you do roll it that you're going to get some falling out, but just try and keep a little bit of a border in there. Next, we're going to come in with three cloves of chopped garlic, and we're just going to evenly distribute that around. This is going to give a really nice garlic bite to it, and I'm a big fan of garlic. You know, and like I said, Add what you want to this. If you want to change it up, absolutely go for it. If you don't like garlic, don't add it. If you want cream cheese, go with cream cheese. But this is a really nice balanced dish and I think you really enjoy it, but go ahead and make it your own. That's what barbecue and that's what cooking is all about is making stuff your own. Now we're gonna come in with some diced onions. These are some yellow onions. So we're just gonna sprinkle a few of those around. Just get some nice even coating right there. The goal when you roll this up is to have a little bite of everything inside and it is just gonna be so good. It's just a flavor explosion. Now we're gonna come in with some red peppers and then we're gonna come in with some yellow peppers and just add as much or as little as you like. There's no set amount. And then our final little bit that we're coming in with is just some spinach. All right, so you can see we have all of our ingredients in there, and all we're gonna do is we're just gonna roll this up. So what I'm gonna do, just come over here, just to make it a little bit easier. And you wanna try and roll it tight. You're gonna lose some out the sides, it's not a big deal. But just keep it nice and tight all the way around. So now we have our flank steak completely rolled up. We're gonna need to tie it up with some butcher's twine. So we're gonna jump in and do that next. So at this point, we're just gonna come in with our butcher's twine, come under, and just start tying a knot. Now, if you know how to do a nice butcher's knot, absolutely go for it. I like to just go around once, go around twice, go around three times, pull like so, and then just tie a nice knot like that. So then once you have your knot, I like to just take and cut that, cut that excess, and then we're gonna come back in underneath again we're just gonna tie another one. So like I said, it's one, two, three times around. Pull tight. And then just go in for that knot right there. Pull that tight, snip your ends. And I'm gonna do that with the remainder of this rolled flank steak. All right, you can see we have our flank steak completely rolled up. It's looking good. We're gonna come in with a little bit of olive oil and that's just gonna act as a binder because it's kind of dried out now from sitting out. We're gonna get some seasoning on the outside because we got our seasoning on the inside. We definitely need that seasoning 
on the outside. So we're just going to put a nice light coat of olive oil over it. And then we're going to come back in with our party rub. All right, and there's our rolled, stuffed, and seasoned flank steak. So I'm going to go ahead and get the Traeger Ranger fired up to 250 degrees. We're going to get this out on the cooker, so I will meet you outside. All right, guys, so the Traeger Ranger is up to temp. We're going to go ahead and get our flank steak on, and we're just going to set it right in the middle like so. And that is looking absolutely awesome. We're going to shut this down. We're going to let it smoke for about 30 minutes, come out and check the internal temperature, see where it's at, see how much longer we have. So I'll see you guys in about 30 minutes. All right, guys, it has been 30 minutes. You can see we're starting to get a really nice color on our flank steak here. I did get a probe in there, and we are sitting at 105 degrees. I have a high alarm set for 120. We're going to get this off, let it rest. We're going to get this cooker up screaming hot, and then we're going to sear it off, and then it's time to eat. So I'll bring you back when this thing hits 120 degrees. All right, guys, so we have hit 120 degrees internally. The alarm just went off. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and get this flank steak off. We're going to get it inside and we're going to let it rest while this thing comes up to temp. So I'm going to go ahead and just get this in this pan here. And this is where it's going to rest inside the house because it's a little chilly today. So I'm going to get that inside. But in the meantime, I want to get my cast iron insert in the ranger here. And I'm gonna let this come up to temp. I'm gonna crank it up to about 450, 500 degrees, and then we're gonna sear this off. So I'll bring you back when it's time to sear. All right, guys, so we are up to temperature here. We are sitting at about 450 to 500 on this cast iron. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this on. I did put a little bit of oil on the meat itself just so we can get a good, nice sear. We're gonna let this go for about a minute per side, sear it off, pull it off, let it rest, and then it's time to eat. So I'm just gonna get this seared off and I'll show you what that looks like. Check that out, we got a nice sear. Now we're gonna hit the other side. Now we're gonna hit the other side. Now at this point, we are gonna go ahead and hit the top side. So we're just gonna make sure we get a really nice, good hard sear on this top side and just build those flavors. Go ahead and check and see how that top side's looking. That is looking phenomenal right there. Look at that nice sear, juice dripping. That looks absolutely fantastic. Go ahead and sear up these sides a little bit more. Just get a little bit more crust and color on there. Man, this smells amazing. I wish you guys could smell this right now. It's just a just a wonderful fragrance of everything coming together. We've worked hard for this, and it looks absolutely fantastic. Look at that, beautiful crust, awesome. Now let's go ahead and knock off one more little sear on this other side. Guys, look at that, nice hard sear on the outside. We're dripping juices. I'm gonna let this thing rest for about 10, 15 minutes. We're gonna slice into it and do a taste test. So I will see you guys in about 10 or 15 minutes. But just look at that beautiful crust on there. All right, guys, and here it is. Here's our delicious rolled stuffed flank steak. It looks awesome. It smells wonderful. Those hickory pellets from Cooking Pellets did an absolutely phenomenal job getting the smoke on this thing. So let's bring you in, slice into it, and show you how it looks. All right, guys, and just look at the wonderful sear we have on here. It looks awesome. First things first, let's just go straight down the middle and see how this looks. Tell me that doesn't look absolutely fantastic. We got the cheese, we got the peppers, we got the onions. Now what I like to do is just kind of slice these into medallions, just individual portion sized, just like so. Tell me you don't want that on your plate. So I'm gonna slice up a couple more of these and then we're gonna jump in and do the taste test. All right guys, and I cannot wait any longer. We're gonna do a taste test now, but look, we got a lot of nice pink in there. It cooked pretty evenly, so it's time to try these. All right, guys, it is the moment of truth. Let's dive in and see how we did on this. Slice me off a little piece here. All right, we got some cheese, we got some peppers, we got some spinach. Cheers. 
Guys, this is absolutely delicious. We have wonderful flavor from the feta cheese. The peppers are nice and al dente. The spinach, the seasoning, it's a nice medium rare. If you're looking for a great weeknight dinner that doesn't take too long, I highly recommend giving this a try. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell, stay safe, and we will see you next time.